DJ Kills on Jones, better remember the name. DJ Kills on Jones, better remember the name. DJ Kills on on your phone and money still on. The team's forever, ever strong, man. So. I was on Facebook the other day, and I did a Facebook Live about this. Um, shout out to my man, DJ Incredible. Um, and he was saying, why does the woman's happiness matter, all, always matter in a relationship, and the man's happiness doesn't matter? Well, I'm here to tell y'all that, um, you know, I'm here to tell y'all that Basically, if a person isn't, it doesn't matter if they're a man or woman. If a person isn't making you happy, then they got to go. It doesn't matter man or woman. I feel like for a man, a man should be a provider, a protector, and a nurturer of his woman. He should be putting her on game. He should be putting her on on notice. You know what I'm saying? And elevating her to her highest level, you know, and you know what I'm saying uh, a woman should be reciprocal, reciprocal, uh, reciprocatory of that. My bad, y'all. She should reciprocate that by pouring into her man and elevating her man by supporting his dreams, by supporting, um, you know, supporting him, aiding him, being there for him, believing in him. Because it's one thing about supporting somebody and, you know, you there, you're supporting them in spirit or you're supporting them in, in word, but not in deed. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, ladies, believe in your man, support your man, go all out for your man. And if he loves you, he'll do the same thing for you. That's the thing. Like, same thing for a woman. Like, if you don't have to worry about him cheating. You don't have to worry about him lying and this, that, and the third. If if you come in, you know what I'm saying, being 100, and he comes in being 100, you know what I'm saying? That's that's the easiest way um, to keep each other happy. And then it's the little things, too. Fellas, we got to remember to uh, put the toilet seat down. We got to remember to flush the toilet when we get in the shower, you know what I'm saying? Or or go to the bathroom after we get out the shower or whatever, you know what I'm saying? We got to pick up our drawers. We got to do, you know, simple little things that will that will um, alleviate the stress from a woman, you know what I'm saying? And then ladies, too, y'all, you know, clean up, cook a good meal, you know what I'm saying? And... Rub your man's back. Make sure he got, you know, him a, his favorite cup of juice or a cup of water or whatever he needs, his game or, you know, turn it, whether it be watching a football game, or actually playing the game, making sure, you know, his controllers is charged up and making sure, you know what I'm saying, that, you know, he got, you know, his PlayStation Plus, the Xbox Live. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's not that hard. You know what I'm saying? We make relationships hard because, we feel like fellas feel like just showing up and not cheating is enough. And ladies feel the same way. And it's really just communication and knowing what each other what each other likes. You know what I'm saying? Not doing something half halfway or not doing something, you know what I'm saying? Going going the extra mile and making sure that your partner is happy. You know what I'm saying? Um, and it really don't take that much. You feel me? But if you're not happy, you got to get on out of there. You got to leave. You it's nobody should be you shouldn't be mad at nobody. And nobody should be mad at you if you're not happy. If they're not happy, let them leave, man. That's all I you know, that's all I really got to say, man. It really ain't that hard. We make it hard. And then too, you got to make sure that you let me let me say this too before I go. You got to make sure that you head over heels for that person. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these relationships, people ain't being happy is because they are looking for somebody because they're trying to fill the void, but they're really not in love with that person. You know, when you're in love with a person is that you don't want to go a day without them. You know what I'm saying? You can't stand them being with somebody else. You know what I'm saying? And it's got to be it's got to be mutual. You know what I'm saying? It can't be out of desperation. It can't be out of lust. It can't be out of nothing. You know what I'm saying? That's the reason why I'm single now, because like all the women that I I was in love with head over heels, they was always taken or unavailable. And I fell in love with some women, but I knew I wasn't like head over heels for them like that.
And then it was some that just didn't work out. You know what I'm saying? I was head over heels for them. I was crazy about it, but it didn't work out because either I didn't trust them or whatever. And some of them was out of desperation. I ain't even going to hold you. I ain't even going to lie. But it's big kills on your phone and money still long, man. If you ain't happy, ladies and gentlemen, don't matter who you are, leave. Time is short. Time is precious. And you can't waste time on somebody, you know what I'm saying, that ain't all about and ain't all crazy about you, man. You can do bad all by yourself. So y'all make sure y'all like, comment, share, subscribe for the one time. Hit the notifications bell so you can tell them to upload and go live. Share this. Tag somebody. Inbox somebody on Instagram or Facebook. And we out. Peace.